Shalom, this is Baruch all coming in the spirit and power of Yahweh Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai Baha Hashem, Raka Kwadash. Double honors to the Apostles of Great Millstone and to the whole full elect pushing his word and truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth. Uh, this lesson is going to be titled Submit Yourself. <clears throat> Just like you. Right? And. You know, with the prophecies are popping off like popcorn, you know, you need to understand, like, you need to get closer to Yahweh Hashem Yoshai while the time is still available. So you need to know how to do it, right? So we got First Peter 1 and 5. Who are kept by the power of Yahweh through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time, and that's the elect. Wherein ye greatly rejoice, though now, for a season, if need be, you are in heaviness through manifold temptations, right? That's why it's like, what we're going through right now is just for a season. This is a small period of time. Because, like, if you keep enduring and you make it to the end, <clears throat> right? The hopeful elect, right? You come, you know, you get the spiritual power, you get the new body. That's it. Temptation's done. You're never going to go through anything like this ever again. So compared to the fact that you're going to live forever, in a short period of time where you have to go through temptations and stuff like that, it's a very pretty good trade-off. That's a pretty good deal <laughs> that the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai has made for the, the hopeful elect. Right? You just got to endure, man. That's it. That's why it says right here, though now for a season... Right, so only a period of time. It's it's very short compared to the grand scheme of things. If need be, you're in heaviness. So you're gonna be going through it through manifold temptations. Yeah. Cause it says also in the scriptures, um, prepare ye that serve the I guess I'm roughly paraphrasing, but if you're gonna be a servant of the Lord, coming to serve the Lord, prepare yourself for many temptations. Roughly paraphrasing, right? So you're gonna be tempted by a lot of things. That the trial of your faith, being much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. So it's a trial of your faith going through those temptation, temptations, right? Right. It's to purify you, to make yourself worthy to Yahweh Shem Shai, right? When he gets here, right? And he's saying his son Yahweh Shai. Because he's the, the bridegroom and we're the brides. So we have to make ourselves purified for the, the, the bridegroom. And he's giving you the ways, the manual to how to purify yourself. Literally the Bible, right? The Bible shows you how to purify yourself by, you know, being obedient. Right? Um, whom having not seen, ye love, and whom thou now ye see him not, Yet believing, ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory, right? And you do that. Like, you know, when something, you go through something and you're going through it, whether you're going through it or whether you got through it, you know, you praise Yahweh Shai, you, know, you know, because it was because of him. It's because of Yahweh Shai we we're able to deal with Yahweh. Yahweh was dealing with us. It's because of him. That's why he's so important. Receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls, of which salvation the prophets have inquired and searched diligently. Right? So the prophets search diligently diligently for their salvation. Right? That's why the scriptures also read. Um escaped me. It's uh something about working at working your salvation. Oh, call it slack. Make your call to election sure. No, that's, it's backwards. Work your salvation with fear and trembling to make your call election sure. Roughly paraphrasing it, it's in those terms, right? But basically you have to have that fear of Yahweh Shem Shai to make your call election sure, right? Because you'd be working diligently because you're afraid. You don't want to get destroyed. You don't want to get the, the death of Esau. The death of these two thirds, the death of, you don't want to get the death of Babylon. You don't want that, man. You don't know, you don't want to get caught out there when 
you know, everything starts hitting the fan, you know, when the purge starts being on the streets, when the cops are just going to people's houses and taking them, you don't want to, concentration camps, you don't want to go through that. That's why you build yourself, uh, you know, your relationship with Yahweh Shemino Shai now, when you can, when you're able to do that, when you actually have a grace period where, you know, you can focus on yourself and build yourself up and do the right things, Right? Because during those times, you're not going to have time, like, you're not going to just, I mean, you know, the bullet, depending on, you know, I can't say you're not going to, but depending on the person's lot, but it's going to be a lot harder, I should say, to be able to, you know, sit in your room, do videos, right? Or in the car, do videos, pray, fast, you know, read the Bible, you know, study the scriptures. You know, it's going to be a lot harder to do that. So that's why you have to take advantage of the time you have now, Right? So now we're going to go to James. Right? Even if he puts you in a situation in a in your lot and you're trying to escape it, you're just you're not helping yourself out because he's putting that situation to make you better. It's not to make you worse. So you have to deal with it. Whatever your situation is. Right? James 4 and 1. From whence come wars and fightings among you? Come they not hence, even of your lust that war in your members? Ye lust and have not, ye kill and desire to have, and cannot obtain. Ye fight and war, yet ye have not, because ye ask not. Right? So your body is constantly going to be fighting against your spirit. Right? Because your your body lusts for things. It wants to do things of lust, you know, of carnality. But your spirit wants to do things to please the Alba Shemiel Shai. But you have to remember... You're going to be fighting with your body, but you need to ask Yahweh Shemuel Shai for the strength. Because he's the one that gives you the increase. It's not you. He does it. Right? You don't do shit. <laughs> you don't do shit. Yahweh Shemuel Shai does it. Does it all. Right? Verse 3. He asks and receive not because ye ask amiss that ye may consume it upon your lust. Right? So you need to ask. But if you don't ask, how are you supposed to receive? Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with Yahweh? Yeah, so like being an adulterer or adulteress, right? And basically being in the world because you're being, uh, you're committing adultery by being a, a friend of the world, right? That's adultery to Yahweh Shemuel Shai because you're, you're going against the doctrine that he's giving you, which is the Bible. And the Bible is against the world. Right, so you can't have two masters, like you said. If you have two masters, you will love one and hate the other. Right, that's why he said it. The friendship of the world is enmity with Yahweh. Right, so when you're friends of the world, right, you're committing adultery. Now, the scriptures say you can use the world, you can use it, but you can't be like friends with the world, buddy, buddy, pal, you know, not like that. Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of Yahweh. Do you think that the scripture saith in vain, the spirit that dwelleth in us lusteth to envy? Right? So I was looking at the word envy. <clears throat> envy, jealousy, rivalry. Um, envious, having hatred or ill will, hate. So your spirit likes to do, or it's not slack, not your spirit. Your flesh likes to do those things. It lusts to do have envy and jealousy and have rivalries, okay? Right, that's why you're not supposed to be uh, having uh, competing with brothers. You're not supposed to be doing that shit, right? Because all you're doing is feeding to the flesh. The spirit's not about that. That's not a spiritual thing. That's a fleshly thing, right? It's just that simple. Because it's going to lead to problems. That's all it does. That's all it does. But he giveth more grace, wherefore he saith, Yahweh resisteth the proud. Right? So the Most High, Yahweh, Shemesh, I give, gives the grace. Right? Wherefore he saith, Yahweh resisteth the proud. So Yahweh, Shemesh, I resist the proud. The people that are, that are proud, the people that are, are prideful, he resists them. He doesn't deal with people that are prideful or that are proud, 
right? And a perfect example is Esau. He's the most prideful person on the planet. And notice how he's contrary to the Most High. He's the total opposite of the Most High. He's the Antichrist, right? Well, he's one of the Antichrists. Really, anyone that's uh, against Yahweh Shemir Hashem is the Antichrist. But he's like the top, top uh, on, the, on the list, right? By giving grace unto the humble. So he gives grace unto the humble, not the proud, not the prideful. So if you're humble, he can deal with you. If you're prideful or proud, he can't deal with you. He's not going to deal with you. All right? Verse 7, Submit yourself therefore to Yahweh, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. All right? It's very simple. Very simple, but not easy. Draw nigh to Yahweh, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, which are your minds, ye double-minded. Be afflicted, and mourn, and weep, and let your laughter be turned to mourning, and your joy to heaviness. Like we just read previously about being heaviness for a season. So you're supposed to be in heaviness. You're not. This is not a place for, for fun. We're not here to have fun and uh, good times and party. And, and this is not what this place is for. This place is wicked. I don't know why you would want to have fun here anyways. Right? This is a satanic kingdom. It's contrary to Yahweh Shem Hashai. So why, why would you want to be here in, 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 a, in the sense of mirth and joy? And, now, it doesn't mean you can't have a good time with brothers here and there. You know? When the moment presents itself, but it's like outside of that, like, you know, you should be, you should be angry. You should be mad. You should be upset that you're still here. You shouldn't like this place. I don't know what the hell there is to like about this place, right? If you're in the flesh, yeah, you're gonna, you're, if you're in the flesh, you're gonna like this place. If you're in the spirit, you're gonna hate this place. It's very simple, right? Humble yourselves. In the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift you up. Right? So the Most High deals with men that are humble. Just like if you have a woman, if you have a woman that comes into you and she humbles herself amongst you, like onto you, and she submits herself onto you, wouldn't you do anything for that woman? Yeah, of course you would. But you're not going to do your, do anything for a woman that's prideful. <laughs> yeah, right. The same relationship with Yahweh Hashem Yashai. The same thing. You think you're gonna he's gonna deal with you if you're prideful? No. If you're humble, yes. He'll do anything. He'll help you out of any scenario that you're in if you ask, right? Just like if you have a woman. If she's going through something and she needs help and she's humble and she's asking for help, you're going to help her because you care about her. You love her. Just like Yahweh Shem Shai, he loves his men. He loves his, you know, Yahweh Shai loves his brothers. Yahweh loves his sons. So, Right? Now we're going to Psalms. <clears throat> These are just gonna be quick. Nineteen seven. The law of the Lord Yahweh is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord Yahweh is sure, making wise the simple. <laughs> yeah. I can keep going. The statues of the Lord are right. Rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. Right? I can keep reading, but that's that's enough. <laughs> you know. Here you go, Psalms eighteen thirty. As for Yahweh, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler, buckler to all those that trust in him, right? And a buckler is a shield. Like I said, if you trust in him, if, you, if you're humble to him, he's going to protect you. If you don't, if you're prideful, he's not going to protect you. He's going to leave you to get taken by uh, Satan, you know? First Chronicles 22 and 12. Only the Lord Yahweh give thee wisdom and understanding. So only Yahweh Shem Hashai give you wisdom and understanding, not you. We don't give, we don't do anything to obtain, like, we, we didn't obtain it. 
because we're some smart individual, you know, that studies and knows all these things. No, it's because Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai is the one that gave it to you. Okay. And give the charge concerning Israel, right? And how do you have charge concerning Israel? So, uh, understand the law, statutes, and commandments, right? Because you're supposed to teach them to Israel. That thou mayest keep the law of the Lord Yahweh thy power. Right? The last one is Baruch 4 and 28. Uh, nice luck. <laughs> it is late. <laughs> okay, Baruch four twenty eight. For as it was your mind to go astray from Yahweh, so being returned, seek him ten times more. Right? So when we went off and we turned back from Yahweh Shino Shai, you know, now that we're back to Yahweh Shino Shai, we're supposed to seek him constantly, daily, every second of the day, man. Every second of the day, you're supposed to seek him, cleave onto him, trust him, ask him for things, you know. Be obedient, humble, constantly, 24-7, 365, right? That's how you gain favor with Yahweh Hashem Yoshai. That's how you build yourself up with Yahweh Hashem Yoshai. That's how he increases you, right? If you try to do it out of your own understanding and your own wisdom, like your own mind, well, then you start to get prideful because then it's like you forget that Most High Yahweh Hashem Yoshai gave you everything. He made you. Everything you are, he gave it to you. He created you. Everything you have, he gave it to you. So it's like, it doesn't make sense to be prideful. Of what? Of you, you didn't do anything. You have to remember who you're serving. Right? So I hope this lesson was edifying to the hopeful elect that are pushing his word, you know, constantly and daily, constantly grinding, constantly fighting. Um, you know, because we're almost out of here. And things are about to get crazy pretty soon, especially because uh, 2022 is coming up in a couple of weeks. So things are going to get turned up. Like Apostle Tahar said, right, you got to turn up. You got to turn up. This is the fourth quarter, right? If anyone has played sports, you know, in the fourth quarter is when you turn up. Like you turn it up. You, you put everything you have. Every, every ounce of gas you have in the tank, you use it. You don't hold anything back. Right? It's not time to be holding back. It's time to be to be releasing everything. You know? If it was like if Dragon Ball Z, if you watch Dragon Ball Z, so it's time to go Super Saiyan, you know, and beyond. It's not time to 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 to, to be lukewarm or cold. Okay? So I hope this lesson was edifying to the hopeful elect. Right? Double blessings and double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. And to hopefully like pushing his word and truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth, death and destruction to his wicked kingdom, and two thirds as well. Kwam Yasharala, Abad Babal, Shawal. <laughs>